Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor, and I'm going to talk about homeopathy right now, what it is, and why it's important for you to know what it is. So, um, it's been actually described by Hippocrates, the father of medicine, like 2,500 years ago, and I don't think he invented it or discovered it. I think it was done before that, and he just took note of it and wrote it down, and Hippocrates is the father of medicine. So, here's how I had a friend a long time ago. He was allergic to his cat, so I told him how to make a homeopathic preparation of the cat's hair, and he did it, and his allergy to his cat went away. So here's how you do this. This is a test tube with 10 milliliters of distilled water, and here's the cat hair. So um, you shake it up, and in homeopathy they call it um, succussing, and then you take one milliliter of that water, and you put it in the next test tube, which is filled with nine milliliters of water, now you fill it up to 10 milliliters, and you shake that up, and then you dilute that again into another test tube that has 9 milliliters of water, so you're adding another 1 milliliter to this. You shake it up, and you just keep repeating that. Every time you repeat that, it's measured as, here's 1x, 2x, 3x. So you can go to 50x or 200x, and that's how they used to make homeopathic preparations. And now you can do it actually with computers. And you don't have to do all the shake, all the uh, succussing and the dilution. So he did this, and he drank the the water, and he said his allergy to his cat went away. And that was before I started in practice. And then in my first year of using nutrition in practice, I had a guy come in. He had uh, he was he had a job where he was spraying trees with poisonous chemicals. And at the end of the day, he was underneath his truck, and he was um, opening up one of the containers, and the pesticide fell into his face and he was scared about that so he went to his medical doctor who did a blood test and he came to me and he showed me the results of the blood test and everything was normal and the MD wrote everything's fine and wrote a smiley face on the blood test and I was like this is ridiculous you had poisons fall in your face and let's find out what happens or what happened to your body so I did the testing that we do and I found that he had some chemical obviously and um, I gave him a homeopathic uh, remedy for chemical poisoning. And he came back a week later, and he, he needed it. And he was like, I know I need that. And I asked him, well, why do you, how do you know you need it? He goes, because my first sip, my right eye started watering, and I couldn't stop it for like 10 minutes. And that was the eye that got most of the chemicals in it. So he was sold, and I was sold, and I've been using homeopathy ever since. If you ever, ever have somebody say, well, homeopathy doesn't work or it's bunk or whatever, just know that that person never helped anybody with homeopathy before. And once you do it, it's, you know that it works. So now our medical system historically was homeopathic. And so I think it was like well, the early 1900s, like 1910, somewhere around in there. And um, there were hospitals and um, places where homeopathic remedies were made and then proven. Now proven is actually a clinical term where they would give people the remedy who didn't have the problem. So in this case, if I were to drink this liquid and I didn't have any cat allergy, I would drink the liquid and I would start having a runny nose and sneezing and red eyes, watery eyes because of the cat allergy. So the homeopathic remedy actually caused the symptoms that it addresses in the people who have the problem. And the proving, the, the proving was done for decades and decades by the highest professionals and all those documents, they're, they're available. You can buy books that have um, the proofs in them and there's a library in Cincinnati called the, the Lo Lloyd Library and that has historical um, documents in there where these wise people for years and years would do the proving of the homeopathic um, remedies. So now this follows, this whole homeopathic um, scenario follows the natural laws of how to get somebody well. And it, it means um, uh, similar energies treat the similar symptoms. And it's, here's how it works. Let me just give you this analogy. So pretend you're sitting in a cabin all by yourself and you're sitting quietly inside and there's these little teeny tiny mosquitoes that are biting your skin and you don't know it because they're so small. So it goes on for a half hour and your body's reacting but you don't really get the cause, you're not understanding that there's mosquitoes. And then this big giant mosquito comes in 
and it stabs you and it kind of wakes you up like, oh my gosh, that's a big mosquito and it's causing harm. And then you say, oh wait, the, all these little mosquitoes are the same thing, just a different size. Let me take care of these mosquito, the, the mosquitoes. So now you're awake, your body is awake to the problem. And so the homeopathic remedy is kind of saying like this, like, hey body, wake up, you have mosquitoes, or wake up, you have a fungus, or you have a chemical toxin. Or some homeopathic remedies are uh, reminding your body, hey, you have good stuff that you need to take care, you need to use. Like you have vitamin C, wake up and use the vitamin C. So um, that's homeopathy, and it's been it's unfortunate that it's been squashed like it has for over 100 years, because it's an absolutely fantastic tool, and it it moves nutrients around. It uh, you know you can have nutrients sitting in your body and just not your body's not aware of it. It's not you know being used. And you use this, and it kind of wakes up your body, and nutrients start working. So um, there's homeopathy, and uh, it's hard to miss with this. It's hard to not use it correctly because the books are there. If you got um, poison ivy or something like that, there's homeopathic re remedies that work really well for that, et cetera, et cetera, all down the line. There's all kinds of great tools you can use in this field of study. So use them.